Okay, so more examples of using our trigonometric ratios of SOCA TOA. Here's two more examples. These two examples are actually looking for the angles. So in our example one, we are looking for angle Z. We have all of our information here. So let's label these. Across from our 90 degrees is our hypotenuse. Across from angle Z, which is what we're looking for, is opposite. And adjacent to angle Z is 28. Now the instructions on this one tell us we're looking for the tangent of Z. So our tangent is our opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of angle Z is opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of angle Z is 21 over 28. Now this is where we get into um, our inverse ratios. So to get Z by itself, like we'd normally do in algebra, we need to do the opposite of whatever is being done. So the opposite of tangent is taking the inverse tangent. Um, so I'll rewrite that here. So tangent of negative 1 of the tangent of Z, and then take the inverse tangent here, negative 1 of 21 over 28. Tangent and inverse tangent cancel, which would leave, it, leave us with just Z. So angle Z is equal to the inverse tangent of 21 over 28. So bring up a calculator. Let's clear out this. To get to our inverses, we have our tangent button. Up above it in yellow you can see tangent, the inverse tangent. So do you second tangent, which gives us our inverse tangent, of 21 over 28. Now make sure your calculator is in degree mode, which it is. Hit enter, and we get angle Z is 36.8698, so let's go ahead and round that up to 36.87. 36.87. Seven degrees. All right, so that's the first example. So we found angle Z using tangent. Example number two is asking us to use cosine of angle C. So here's angle C. Again, hypotenuse is across from the 90. Opposite of angle C is 30, and adjacent to angle C is 16. Now cosine is cosine is opposite or sorry, adjacent over hypotenuse. And cosine of angle C, miss that. So the cosine of angle C, our adjacent is 16, our hypotenuse is 34. And again, we're going to use our inverse ratio. So the inverse of cosine, I'm going to squeeze this up here, cosine negative 1, these cancel, so C is equal to the inverse cosine of the angle C, 16 over 34. Let's pull up our calculator again, scooch it over here. So second cosine of 16 over 34 gives me an angle. So C, angle C, was 61.927. 61.927 would round to 93 degrees. So using your inverse ratios, you can solve for your any missing angle that you need.